Hi, I am Berlin Grace, Professor in the Department of Biotechnology, Karni Institute of Technology and Sciences, Coimbatore. Today I am going to explain the physiology of respiratory system, which is a part of the course Human Physiology, which is offered to our 4th B.Tech Biotechnology students. First let us start with which are the organs of the respiratory system. So the organs to mention are nose, pharynx, larynx, trachea, then two bronchi, bronchioles, then you know it has two lungs and the muscles are breathing which are intercostal muscles which uh, uh, are in between the ribs and at the floor of the uh, muscle we have at the floor of this uh, bronchiole we have a diaphragm which is uh, which is covering this cavity and the parts of respiratory system if you look at it start from the nasal cavity then nostril then oral cavity then we have pharynx then larynx then trachea and then it branches into two bronchus then we have right and left lung it ends with diaphragm the functions of respiratory system the main function of respiration all of us know that it is nothing but the gas exchange gas exchange means oxygen has to enter into the blood and the carbon dioxide present in the blood has to leave this is called a gas exchange then apart from this gas exchange function of this respiratory system it also has the other functions like regulation of blood pH by altering or changing the blood carbon dioxide level that way the pH also can be uh, changed then in addition we have the voice production this is because of the movement of air past vocal folds which make the sound and speech it is mainly done by the pharynx and larynx then we have the olfaction function that is smell occurs when airborne molecules drawn into the nasal cavity and it also offer the protection against the microorganisms by preventing the entry and removing them respiration if you look at the process whole process of the respiration it's a process by which oxygen reaches the body cells and it utilizes it by them in metabolism which means the cells will utilize the molecules such as carbohydrate glucose and other uh, molecules it will be utilized mainly the tca cycle will release carbon dioxide and these carbon dioxide accumulated carbon dioxide is toxic and it is a waste product of this uh, metabolism which has to be eliminated so the respiration involves the process the process of oxygen taking inside the cells as well as eliminating the waste product carbon dioxide this metabolism only will supply the energy for our body to do the function so there is a high demand for oxygen this respiration will provide such oxygen demand it meets out the demand of the oxygen by two ways one is breathing or pulmonary ventilation it is nothing but taking air in and leaving the air out and then the second part is exchange of gases this exchange of gas occurs not only in the lung it also occurs in the tissues in the lung the process is called as external respiration and in the tissues it is called as internal respiration let us see about these two processes breathing first this breathing has two phases one is inspiration and the other one is expiration inspiration is otherwise called as inhalation it is the process of taking air in and the expiration is otherwise called as exhalation it is the process of blowing out air in inhalation breathe in the diaphragm contracts and flattens volume in the thoracic cavity increased the lungs expand 
whereas in exhalation it is nothing but breathe out the diaphragm expands and relaxes volume in thoracic cavity decreased the lungs compress in that way the air is exhaled mechanism of breathing if you look at the process of inspiration and expiration happens due to the pressure changes in the bag like structure of thorax or thoracic cavity so this bag like structure of thorax or thoracic cavity has a floor that floor is completely closed to by the diaphragm so the act of breathing is performed by expansion and contraction of the thoracic cavity muscles which are this muscles main muscles the muscles are nothing but the intercostal muscle between the ribs and the diaphragm muscle what happens in inhalation the intercostal muscle between the ribs expand anterior and outward and the dome shaped diaphragm muscle flattens so that the cavity enlarges and the pressure decrease than the atmosphere so because of that it take air in to equalize the pressure then in exhalation what happens the cavity volume decreases and the lung pressure increases hence the diaphragm relaxes rise to the dome shape again rib muscles contract back to leave the air out next part of this respiration is diffusion of gases diffusion of gases is nothing but the exchange of gas it occur when a difference in partial pressure exists across a semi permeable membrane gases move by diffusion from higher concentration to lower concentration until equilibrium is established so it occurs as external respiration in lung alveoli and internal respiration in other tissues let us see how the external respiration takes place exchange of gases by diffusion between the alveoli and the blood is called external respiration so here each alveoli wall is one thick cell and is surrounded by network of tiny capillaries so this capillaries especially the venous blood reaching at the lungs has high levels of carbon dioxide and low level of oxygen so it is called as a deoxygenated blood and hence it diffuses down its concentration gradient into the alveoli until equilibrium is reached in this way the carbon dioxide enter into the blood and by the same process the reverse happens and the oxygen diffuses from the alveoli into the blood so in this way the carbon dioxide from the blood enter into the alveoli and from the alveoli the oxygen diffuses out then what is internal respiration internal respiration it happens in the cells the exchange of gases by diffusion between the blood in the capillaries and the body cells is called external respiration here you can see the systemic capillary blood arriving at the tissue is saturated with oxygen which is oxygenated this creates a concentration gradient between the capillary blood and tissue and therefore gas exchange occurs so here you can see the oxygen enter into the tissue and it is utilized for the carbon dioxide release or the metabolism of carbohydrate as i mentioned earlier through the tca cycle and many other processes carbon dioxide is released this released carbon dioxide again come back to the capillaries by this exchange method thank you hope you understood the topic you understood the overall physiology of the respiratory system if you have any doubt you can contact me thank you